Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work. So you just powered on your new mobile G3 and now you want to see exactly what the phone is like straight out the box. So let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright guys, so we just powered up the new mobile G3. So let's just start up with the startup screen. So this is a dual SIM capable phone. So you can start up as new. I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi and do all that mess. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just set up my Wi-Fi. Now it's trying to set up, check in info. So if anything guys, I'll just fast forward this, but the first thing that I definitely see here, it does have a little black bar on the bottom, which kind of sucks because you do want that whole screen and hopefully we'll be able to fix that later on. So I'm gonna put my Gmail information in real quick and we'll be right back. So my information is now inside the device. It's probably gonna ask me if I wanna do a backup. So it's asking if I want to add a fingerprint. Yes, I do. So I'll do the pen and the fingerprint. Yes, I always do that. In case I lose it, these guys not getting inside this phone. All right, so the fingerprint scanner is in a perfect placement. I like the fact that it's like almost like a square and you have more real estate there. So, so let's see how long it takes to actually set this up. So it's the typical setup here from Android. Fingerprint added, and I always like to add the left one as well because you never know if you're eating with the other hand or if you're driving with the other hand. Parked with the other hand, I meant. I don't uh, recommend driving and texting. So let's hit next for all that information. If I want to set up my Google Assistant, hit next. No thanks. Is there anything else that I want to add? All set. Now it's adding the finishing touches. And as you guys can see, that screen wallpaper looks Super contrasty, if, if that's even a word. This this thing looks beautiful. Um, I'm gonna definitely see how this looks, like the whites and the backs. See if there's any blue tint. So there's no blue tint so far. But the one thing I do see is that the apps are super enlarged. So I don't know if I could change that or not. But let's just head into settings and we do have a wireless update. So we do have an update that's for March. You're probably gonna get your March patch. I don't know, it says, that is for January, so let's download that in the background. Set into settings here. Go into about phone, so you are on 7.1.1, new mobile G3. And out the box, you do get a November security patch. So you're making a big jump from November to March, and hopefully they'll have the Aprils soon. So out the box, it is using 1.2, gigabytes of RAM out of the four. So you do get 2.5 free out the box and that's not using any apps except for just running around. So out the box, you're actually using 13.82 gigabytes of internal storage out of the 64. So let's see if there's any catch or anything. So you do get a lot on other. I wonder what that is. So the other includes Shared file by apps and Android files, so I'm definitely getting into that later. So let's see what else they got. So you do get the system gestures here. You do have the slide to capture the screenshot. And you do get a nice little ringtone there. So if you want to slide three fingers down to have a screenshot, you can do that. If you want to slide three fingers upward, then you could launch the camera. Let's try that. Slide two fingers together upwards and downwards for volume. I'll try that out. And if you want to double tap to lock. Cool, so out the box you're installed 28 apps and it looks like it's pure Google. I don't see any type of new apps here. I think the one thing that I definitely want to see is the camera real quick. So let me just head into the camera, see if we could take a quick shot of something real quick. So let's look at the, at the big Miggy here. So I'm gonna definitely turn down that light because I hate that, I mean that sound. So from the first glances guys, it looks pretty good. Like 
I'm really zooming into this thing. Like it's a little bit, it's a little bit soft, but you could definitely go in really close, which is pretty surprising. So we'll definitely see how the camera is. I would definitely do a lot of videos about that as well. I'll see if I can shrink this and you get the FM radio, of course. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the new Mobile G3. And I will have a lot more content coming, so be prepared. So for my first impression, guys, this phone does not feel like a $200 device. And you do get the nicer bit of bezel here on the top and the bottom, but it should be fine. I just want to see something. I want to see if I change the wallpaper, will it actually look as vibrant as... The other wallpaper so this is probably one of the best 720p displays i've seen in a very very long time so let me just head into settings and see if there's any changing that you could do with the display so the font size let's bring that a little bit down i like everything smaller and it does have a notification led as well all right guys so if you guys want to buy this product the link will be down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the new Mobile G3 and more tech to come. So, to the next video, guys. Peace.